Happy Saturday, so I thought I would do a get ready with me. I don't know if I've ever done one, like shown like my um, my skincare routine, but I thought I'd spend Saturday morning with you and you guys can see how I get ready in most mornings. Um, this is what I do most mornings. There are some mornings where I don't put any makeup on just because I'm really, really tired. But honestly, to be honest with you, I didn't used to wear makeup this much. But since I've had TikTok and all these platforms, um, I do put a little makeup on because I'm, boom, I'm scary looking without makeup. And um, you guys are probably thinking, wow, she um, has her makeup on. Yeah. I've gotten really lazy. I never used to sleep with makeup on until I got older and it doesn't really affect my eyes too much. Sometimes I'll take my mascara off at night, but um, I'm lazy. I am, I'm honestly, I'm lazy. So I found some new skincare things that I wanna share with you guys. Um, and I actually am seeing a difference. And also I have to tell ya, uh, I don't know, you guys seen the oatmeal? where I said it helps reduce belly fat. I have to tell you guys, I, cause I'm 52 and you start to put on weight in your fifties for no reason. You look at a chocolate bar, boom, 10 pounds. No lie. You go across the kitchen, grab some Cheetos, boom, five pounds. Think about it, two pounds. No lie, no lie. And I've never had like a belly before. Like usually when I, when I gain weight, it's like usually like my chest area, my behind. Um, so this is new for me. And I had read that there were so many really good benefits to eating oatmeal. So I've been doing it every day, you guys. And I honestly can tell you that I have, and I haven't exercised. I keep having new, I keep having day one Mondays, like every single Monday is a day one getting fit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. And I just need to take time to take care of myself. All you guys tell me that, I know I need to. And I have been eating the oatmeal faithfully every morning. I do a half a cup and you'd be surprised how much you can get in a half a cup. And so to this morning I woke up, I'm like, oh my goodness. And it's not like, boom, I have a wonderful waistline. But the bloating and it just, it feels different. I don't know if that makes any sense. So um, if you're having the same issue as me, the oatmeal is working, like it really is. It's just helping with my digestive system. It's helping with my skin. Like it really is helping. So um, now that I told you my whole oatmeal story, now we're going to get on to the skincare routine, what I use and how I put my makeup on. If you guys care anyway, here we go. So I had to put my glasses on because I can't see. So here is basically what I use for skincare. So I just recently started using retinol. Um, because I got a little sagging going on and I know that it's not going to reverse the signs of aging But it does help I can tell I can tell big time and then I also have started using this is for darker spots as you get older You start to get these little brown spots right here You you also get them when you get pregnant some women get them when they get pregnant So I've noticed the dark spots and this seems to be helping not as fast as I'd like it to but it seems to be helping And then I always do my hold on a second I have been using my frankincense. Frankincense helps with inflammation, but it also helps with your skin. And my citrus. Now, you don't want to put the citrus in your eyes or around your eyes because, you know, you don't want to get it in your eyes. But I do use it on my cheeks because it does help with, like, also spots. It makes your face, you know, it's like a, it's like a, you know, you get those chemical peels and it's all citrus. So I, vitamin C is very good for your skin. Then I also use vitamin E. I've been using vitamin E forever, and I have to tell you a little story about vitamin E. So um, I was talking to a lady, and she looked absolutely amazing. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so jealous. And I was just telling her about these wrinkles that I'm getting. This was like in my 40s, I was getting these wrinkles. So I, she says, well, I use vitamin E, and I'm like, okay. So I started using vitamin E, and it took about maybe two or three months, and the wrinkles weren't as deep. Like, I can still feel them, I can still feel them, but the one side was getting really deep. And I started using this, not a lot, because if you, if you, your skin gets clogged easily, if you have oily skin and it gets clogged, I was told that um, grapeseed oil also works and it doesn't clog your skin. I've tried it, it is lighter, but I like my vitamin C or my vitamin E for like my wrinkles. And so I put these two oils with the vitamin E 
And I just read recently that you should like add one, wait a little bit and add another. And then I also got this too. It's also a vitamin C serum. Um, I don't know why I got it because I have like vitamin C, but I did. And then I also got this peptide booster. Um, I'm not as faithful using it as I should. And I guess the retinol you're supposed to use at night, but I'm lazy. And so I use it in the morning. So when you put it on though, you have to like dampen your face. And I put that on and let it set. And then I move on to the other stuff. So I'm going to kind of wet my face. Um, and then I'll come back and start adding all my, uh, help me look younger. Do I look 52? I do right now, don't I? And, and I know I'm like real chatty today. I don't know why I'm real chatty, but I've always had the dark circles. Like I know some people think dark circles happen. Like if you're tired, if you're lacking vitamins or if you're getting older, but ever since I was a kid and I was pretty healthy as a kid, I've always had these. So I really just think, I know the skin is, is, um, the skin is really thin around your eyes and I just have always had them like always. And I never had allergies or anything. And I'm sure people will be like, no, it's because of this and this. Well, I'm just telling you that I've always had them. My mom has them. My sister has them. My brother has them. It, I don't know if it just runs in the family. I don't really know, but so this right here for me is something that I'm always trying to like hide because I, I've always had them, always. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna wet, go wet my face so we can get started on my skincare. So I just got my hands damp. I mean, I don't wanna like completely put my face in water. So, and I do do my neck too. I do do, I do do my neck too. So you just, it comes like in a little pump like this. And I can't remember what website I got this on. I will actually find out for you. Um, it was referred to me. Um, her name is Maddie Choose Your Social on TikTok. She has a skincare line and she recently just got reached out to by Neutrogena to, um, to, and you don't need much. I actually have a little too much on here. You only need like maybe a dab of it. It goes a long way. But she um, got picked up by Neutrogena to, um, help people understand more of like uh, moisturizers and what they actually like do and how to um, put them on. And so she's the one that told me about this because her mom, I hate to even say that, who's my age? Her mom started using this retinol and she gave me the sign. I think it starts with an O, I'm not really sure. So I do have a little too much on today. I mean, I have a little, I pumped a little too much, but I am telling a difference. I've been using this for about Oh, I bet over a month. And like I said, it does say to put it on at night, but I always forget. So hopefully I'm not ruining my skin doing it in the day, but I am telling a big time. And I'll tell you, I'm just going to give you guys like all my insecurities in this video. If you want to know all my insecurities, we all have these jowls. See this? And our resting faces are down. And I noticed this and I thought, oh no, I mean, one little spot. And so I, I try and smile like when I'm talking to people, I try and keep my mouth up a lot to not help it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys are thinking she's crazy. TMI, too much information. And so I've started using it and I can really tell like around my mouth. And I didn't even realize that I had stuff going on with my forehead. I'm a squinter. I've always been a squinter. Me and my sister, my brother were very sensitive to the light. So if it's just like a little bit of light reflection, we can't see like my eyes water crazy. Okay. So we just did that. And then I just take a little bit of my, um, my dark skin and I mix it. I'm going to actually mix it with my citrus today. Ooh. And it, and you only need a couple drops. I actually get my oils from, um, young living and you only need a couple drops. Just avoid your eyes. Okay. Because you don't want it to burn your eyes. So I just basically do my cheeks, anything where it's kind of red here. All right, it smells so good. I also use this citrus oil. See, this citrus blend has all of the grapefruit, orange, tangerine, mandarin, mandarins, um, all of the citrus oils, lemon that you can think of into one thing. I get this at Young Living and it's only like maybe $19 and it goes a long way. I also put it in my water because you can consume some of these oils, put in my water. Um, so after I do that, then I just grab my vitamin E and just a couple of drops. And it is kind of thick, just to warn you. I don't know if it's helping. I hope it's helping. And then my frankincense, which is not cheap. And it's like $80 a bottle. 
of this frankincense. I have two kinds. I have this and sacred sacred frankincense. And this I have been using. So you can, you can kind of see how far it's down. I've been using this for over a month. Maybe a month and a half. It only takes two drops. You can, So even though it's $90, you'll have it probably a good four or five months. So what's five divided by 80? Five goes into eight. One time... 330, 5 to 30 is 6, so it's like $16 a month. And then I just put on my cheeks and I put on my eyes. I know people say don't rub things in with your fingers, but, and you're always supposed to go like with against gravity or something, but I, I guess I'm not just, I'm not too technical with that stuff. So I just put it on. It smells really good. And then I put on my neck. And then if I have any extras, I put it on my hands, hands, face, neck, hands, face, neck. Some of you guys are like, I don't get it. I don't get it. You're in your thirties, your twenties, just starting your forties. Well, I'm telling you, you have a big change. When you hit your mid to late forties, things change so much. Like honestly they do. Okay. I'm going to clean up my facial stuff. Just kind of let it set. And then I'm going to come back and show you how I do my makeup. Before I put the makeup on, I want to show you something. See this tool I found? You're probably thinking, what is that tool? I'm going to show you. And I can't believe I'm going to show you. So as you get older, you start to get hair on your face, maybe on your cheeks. Oh, it's, I think this thing was like $10. I, you know, you pluck, you're plucking. You know, I, I haven't done it above my eyes. I can't figure it out. I'm afraid I'm going to like remove my eyebrows with it because I try not to tamper too much with my eyebrows. But... You, I have blonde hairs. So I don't normally wor worry about it, but you just roll it and it pulls out the hairs. Does it hurt? Look at my chin. I get these like little white hairs and you don't see them unless it's in the sun. So you just take it and you just roll it with your finger and you just let it do its work. And it hurts like a devil because, uh, it, yeah. So I found this little contraption and I really like it. So you guys are thinking, wow, I know, get your coffee. Who knows where this is going to go, right? Who knows? <laughs> okay, now for the makeup. Now to the makeup. I am a minimalist. I don't add a ton of makeup to make myself look younger. I just make, I put makeup on so I don't look like I'm dead, honestly. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm pale. I feel like I have no color. So I basically wear makeup so I look alive. So um, I have looked everywhere for concealers because... When you have wrinkles, you have to be, really be careful of the makeup you put on because it will either make your wrinkles look like more or it'll be caked. Um, and so I have found this, Be Bright. I'm telling you, I have tried lots, lots. I've only found it online. Like you have to order it through Amazon. So I'm going to show you my whole collection I got. So I got a, a yellow one that I use all the time because I have purple. So I use yellow and then I have my lighter one. And then the green, green helps with, with reds, like red parts, red, like if you have red cheeks or whatever, green helps. You can't use a lot because you can still see it. And then um, I also got a dark one, but that doesn't look dark. So I usually get a light and dark. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference here. So this is kind of what I get. I, I just started using the green one um, just because I felt like maybe underneath, uh, but then I could still see it. So, and I don't really have red in my face. So here's what I use. And so because there's no sun right now, well, there is sun, but we're not tanning. I use these two. So all I, I used to use a brush and I kind of got sick of using the brush because the brush gets kinked up. So I'm going to use my fingers. So all I do, my palm of my hand, I just take some out and I just do a couple swipes. I'm telling you, I'm very minimal. I, I don't even want to do this. If in the summer, I don't use hardly any makeup because then my face looks better. So I just take it and I just dab underneath and I dab on top. I actually use it the other way around. And if I need more, then I will. So I just blend it in. I'm going to use a mirror and you guys just to get the purple. Let me go tiptoes. I can't really see here. And then if I have extra... I notice I have these two red spots since I wear glasses. It kind of sits on your face. And then if I need extra there, here we go. That's not too bad. Okay, there we go. And if I need to go back and add a little bit, like I'll just take some of my yellow, put a little dot there. 
and then I'll just kind of fill it in. It just depends. If I eat like too much garbage, I wake up, it's like, Bleh. I'm gonna take a picture of, of all these together too so you guys can see them. So I have found, and you know what too, when I was younger, I never used brushes. I used like those little pad things that kind of, so Neutrogena is the one I found for me. I've tried every face powder. It's flat. When you're older, you have to have more dimension. Like you can't just use any old stuff. And so the Neutrogena, I use a, um, a medium beige and then, or a light beige nude color. Then in the, the winter, I use a medium beige. So I just use my brush. And this is pretty much my foundation, you guys. And then I'll just kind of tap it on my eyes because I don't want to brush it right because I want to keep that stuff on. And if I brush, it'll kind of get it off. There we go. Done. I don't know if I'm looking at the camera. Hopefully I am. Okay. And that's the extent of my foundation. Yeah. And then I have, uh, I used to get all these samples from Ipsy. And so I don't know what this is, but I, it's almost gone here, but I just do my cheeks. There we go. Do my cheeks. There we go. And I am more of like an eye girl. I like more eyeshadows. And let me see. I got to go up a little bit. Sorry, guys. I can't see. I don't have the best light here. And I, I can't see. So close up, I can't see. So I have to kind of look far away. All right. And that's the gist of that. And I'll take my brush. And I don't want it to look like, like, ooh, she has makeup on. Okay. And I used to do my eyebrows, but I feel like it's kind of making them look not natural. So I stopped penciling my eyebrows. I've been really trying hard to not pluck them and let them be natural. And so, so far, I mean, I think they look okay. So I'm not going to do eyebrows. And then I found this wonderful thing at Ulta. Oh my goodness. It's by Anastasia and it's actually a contour. Um, and I use it for eyeshadow and I use it for eyeshadow. I don't use it for contour. I don't understand it. I've tried the whole contour with light and dark. And then I feel like I have so much crap on my face. I don't like it. So I just use my like little brush here. And depending on what I want to use, I kind of mix the yellow because right yellow covers purple. And then I just put it on my eyes. I'm telling you guys, I'm minimalist. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. So I just get it on my eyes here. I did find a really cool, um, uh, eyebrow kit that the white really stayed on nice because I like my eyes to have the white on the top and the bottom. I'm kind of making a mess here. I can't see what I'm doing. And I did get a couple tips off of TikTok. So one of the tips I got was you take your light and you go on the inside of your eye to brighten it up. And I really like it just to brighten it up. You can go all the way down if you want. That kind of takes the purple away too. So I, I did learn this and I do that. And then I learned to do on the outside too. So you just brighten up the outside too. And this little brush I like because it doesn't like, like when you put the powder on, see how it does it? It doesn't do that. It sticks in the brush, this little tiny thing here. Can you see that? Yeah. And so I, I really do like doing this. And you can see the difference already. And then I also use it along my lid because I just don't feel like those brushes really stay on very well. And then I have my little whatever brush and I just do my dark, I kind of mix them and I put them on. I don't usually do colors on my eyes. Um, if I'm going out or if I'm feeling just super, super happy, sometimes I'll throw in a color. I usually do colors on my um, my eyeliners. I really like colored eyeliners. So that's eyes. That's it. And then sometimes if I want to blend them in, there we go. Looks like I need a little bit more over there. And that, my camera's in the way of the mirror, so I can't see it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then I will usually take my brush because eyeshadow always falls down. And another thing I learned on TikTok this is my Estee Lauder. My mother-in-law, every year, she buys um, perfume and then gets these bags for like $20. So this is mine. Your nose. So I take this red and you just put on your nose. And it just makes you, I don't know what it does. And so I just take my thing and I'll just 
So the nose thing and the two white eyes is what I learned from TikTok. That might be a little too much. I might have over exaggerated that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we're getting close, hey. Next I wanted to show you my collection of summer eyeliners. Aren't these pretty? I love them so much. Um, I love this purple so much. I have used the yellow. I have used the green. I love the blues all day long, but isn't these cool? Um, of course, this is my favorite. <laughs> you see how tiny it is? It's so whittle, but it will we like it a lot. It's so whittle. Um, so let's see. Today, let's do... I'm feeling 2022. Let's, let's do... I don't know. Let's do green today. Um, so we're going to do green. And it's already got the... I know you guys are going to say, like, you're not supposed to pull your eye, you know, your eye down. But I don't know how to do eyeliner without doing it. So here we go. I haven't used this one before. I don't know what it's going to look like. I used to use eyeliner underneath, too. But I like the whole 50s look. I don't know how to do wings, so I don't do wings. It's not going to look as bright because I had some of my blue on from yesterday, so... It's okay, I think you can see it. Can you guys see it? Oh yeah. And I know it looks like I have a lot on, but once I put my mascara on, it kind of blends it. Oh, that is nice. I'm gonna put my favorite one away right now. There we go. I went through all my makeup not too long ago and I couldn't believe how much stuff I had that was like older and yucky. Um, some of it I gave to my girls that it wasn't old, but you know, no sense. I'm not going to use it. I like my neutral colors. I like my colored eyeliners. So this mascara I found off of TikTok, a lady put it on and showed her before and after. And I was like, oh my goodness, I got it. I'm addicted to it. This is all I wear. I used to wear the Lash Paradise. Loved it. This is amazing. So I'll show you. Hopefully it gives us the right effect because I don't have a lot of mascara on, but I do have some. My daughter wears it and her eyelashes are all right, here we go. I usually do this a couple times because I am very weird about one side not looking the same. I love eyes. I'm all about the eyes when it comes to makeup. I always have been. In high school, I got eyeliners like that when I was younger. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Maybelline came out with a whole line of color, colored eyeshadows eye, eye, eye and mascara. And I would go in with green, blue, yellow, pink. I would put every color on when I went to high school. Oh, I actually like the green. That's nice. It looks really nice. I kind of have blue green eyes. It really depends. I can hear the birds. So my phone um, died on me. Sorry about that. So let's finish getting this side and then I'll do my bangs. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good, hey? I like the green a lot. And I can't tell if I made a mistake until I put my glasses on because I can't see. And I wasn't like this until my mid forties. I started to need readers. I've always had like, like 2010, 2015. And yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Find the cutest glasses you can find to make you look super cute. All right, mascara's almost done here. So hopefully this looks good. Okay, now it's time to put the glasses on. I'm very, very picky when it comes to eyelashes. Let's see. Not too bad. Let me do like a little cleanup. I'll be back. I can hear the birds singing. It's going to be a nice day today. So what's on the agenda for today? So for did it, for today, um, we were supposed to do our Mother's Day barbecue ribs because tomorrow we're going golfing. We're not going to be around. So I scheduled Mother's Day dinner earlier. Then tomorrow we could just grab something, head to golfing because I got new golf clubs for my birthday. Well, my son Brendan runs a um, the youth in our church. And I just found out last night that they're all coming over here at one to play basketball, to have a bonfire, have pizza and pop. So the ribs is out the door because we're going to help minister to these children with my son, Brandon. I want to support, I support my kids. You know, when they, when they have something to want to do, I want to be a support for them. So it sounds like I have a bunch of teenagers coming over today. So now we had to shift everything. And so we were supposed to do the Mother's Day charcuterie board yesterday but um, Brennan wasn't feeling good and 
Um, he kind of had a headache and it just people, everybody was kind of off and tired from the week because everybody's kind of gung-ho back to work and they're a little tired. So we had to shift that to tonight. So my menu, you know, and that's what happens, right? You make a menu, you make a plan and sometimes you shift it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if that's just a guide, if you can't get to it every day, exact the same day, you know, it is, it is what it is. And so tonight we're going to do, um, the mother's day charcuterie. Well, I'm not going to do it. My girls are going to do it. My son. They're going to do the mother's charcuterie, and then we also got appetizers yesterday. So they're going to be putting that together for tonight um, after the teens leave. And, and that's something that doesn't, like, the ribs take a while, so we just didn't have time. And then tomorrow, we're going to, like, <laughs> my husband's going to get that dinner So going. I think I'm going to help prep some things so we can get eaten, so we can get to the golf course, because the golf course is about 30 minutes away. And with 13 of us, we had to do different tea times, so it's going to take longer. Or basically our whole day is going to be golfing, which is going to be so fun. But anyway, well, thank you so much for joining me on my Get Ready With Me. And I got to let you know what we're doing today. And um, just thank you so much for your support. And make sure to subscribe and like to Just The Bells 10. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So now I'm off to go get my coffee. Me and Josh, you do a Bible study every morning and we have a prayer list. So if you have something you'd like me to pray about, put it down in the comments. I'll add you to our prayer list. And then you can kind of update like, hey, things are going better. You can private message me. You don't have to share that with the public. But anyway, um, we're going to go do that and get my house cleaned up because they're probably going to want to play ping pong and basketball and, you know, in the new game room. So that's what's happening for today. So have a wonderful weekend and um, happy Mother's Day.